This is Stefan from the tech team again. Today I will quickly demonstrate on how to enable NX to work on three Morvis clients. Assuming you have installed Morvis and activated your license properly, we will now begin. So first of all you want to start the Morvis server control which uh, is displayed by the small tray icon here. You want to right click it and click on properties and enter the IPs of the clients you will be using. Today I'll be using three clients on my local machine and I will add ports. So there has been a change in the Morvis software. Um, we now give ports to the base of 8. That means the next port will be 8708 and the following port will be 8716 and so on. So the next port would be 8724, 8732 and so on. Um, but I think for demonstration purposes we have enough with three ports. So next you want to right click the tray icon again and open the Morbis application enabler. You want to click add application and navigate to your Siemens NX10 installation directory. Select the file ugraph.exe and click open and set the enable check mark. And it's already time to begin launching your Morvis clients. I have prepared three clients in a different wall configuration, which I will now try to quickly align here for us, like this. We can quickly check if the walls are configured correctly in the screen position menu. Yep, it's a right wall. Yep, it's a middle wall. And yep, it's a left wall. So it's already time to start an X and load a model. I'll set for a shaded visualization. Yeah, here we are. Next we can launch a VRPN server for our tracking and navigation device. Launch the VRPN translator, let it connect so our input devices and tracking will work. And for demonstration purposes I'll quickly enable the anaglyph mode so we get at least some 3D. Okay, now we can take our gamepad or input device and start flying around. And you see how Morvis automatically applies the correct perspective adaption for left and right walls straight out of NX. Let's see if we can find another model. Of course, we need to make sure that we are running in perspective mode. If you see the same image on every wall configuration, you are most likely to have not enabled the perspective visualization mode. Once the visualization mode is set to perspective, we are all set to go. And I'll zoom out a bit in NX, so we get a better depth perception and depth pre precision. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks for watching and as always feel free to contact me whenever you have any technical issue. Bye!